Okay, so we're going to install a Drupal on our, on our local system. We're going to use MAMP as our local host, and then we're going to install Drupal 8 on that. So we just go MAMP.info, and we're going to several loads. Okay, so we're just going to use the MAMP, the free version, the free download. So I already downloaded that. I've got it installed. It's straightforward. It's a normal installation. So just go ahead and download that and install it. And for the next step, we're going to open up Terminal. We're going to have that sitting here waiting for us. Um, so we need to install our Drupal folder within MAMP. So to get to that folder, we go to Applications, open MAMP, and then we want it inside htdocs. And so to copy this path name, right click, hold down Option, copy this path name, go back to Terminal. And we're currently in the user file, so we're going to change directory into the what we just copied. And now we are in htdocs. Okay, so now we are going to go to this website. Uh, it's a GitHub github.com Drupal Composer slash Drupal Project and this is a very straightforward way of installing Drupal. It is a simple way that installs all the things we need to be able to run Drupal. Um, it's a quick installation and oh forgot to mention this is going to be installed using Composer and I already have Composer installed on my system so if you do not have that you're going to need Composer. Okay, so we're going to use this command line, and in this case, the some dir here, some directory, is what we want to rename to whatever we want. Uh, that's going to be the folder where the Drupal project is stored. And oftentimes, when you just copy from here straight into terminal, it will immediately run the command. So I have a document saved over here. And in my case in open office and so I'll just come in here and we're going to call it Drupal 8 I'm just gonna call it Drupal 8 and now we will copy this into terminal and run that and make sure you're in the right directory we're in map HT docs and then we will copy this in and run it and we'll let it work its magic Okay, so while that does its installation, um, the next step after this downloads is we're going to change directories into the folder we just created with that command. So it's going to be Drupal 8. That's going to be our directory that we're going to copy into. And then we will run this composer require to make sure everything is up to date. It'll download any anything else it needs to run properly. So I'd recommend while you're waiting for that first command to run um, go through this git repository there's a lot of stuff in here that you should you should know so go through and read that it's a very a very good description and a tutorial on how to do this Okay, so now that is finished, and so we're going to change directors into Drupal 8, which is what we just created. And now within this directory, we are going to, I'm going to go back here to my document, um, we're going to run Composer Require Drupal slash Devel, and we'll just copy that over and run that. So this will download any dependencies needed for Drupal 8. Okay, now that's installed, we're going to go ahead and jump back over to MAMP. And I just 
realize I haven't actually opened it so okay so now we're going to go ahead and just to show you what it will do I will start the server and that is going to open a starter page in your <coughs> in your web browser and right now we're not going to do anything here but we do want to go to our local host in this case local host 8888 and so I just backspace there and we're going to run that okay so now here we have our Drupal 8 and our composer.json but um, I cannot run the install so you would go in this case Drupal 8 install.php and that should install your start the Drupal install well in this case it can't be found the reason is because map is looking in the wrong place for the root directory so because it's the free version of map um, we have to do we have to point it at the right directory so we'll go into preferences and we're going to go to web server and the document root go select okay now we're going to go so here we're, we're just going to show you how to get their applications map and then we're in HT docs and here is our Drupal 8. Okay, so Drupal 8 uses web, the folder web, as its root file. So we want to select that, and then we go select. Hit OK. Start the server. Okay, we don't need that because we're already over here. <clears throat> Just simply refresh this. So now that we have that, we're going to go ahead and just start our server here. Okay, so we're going to, have to set up a database for our website. <clears throat> so we're going to use, or what I'm going to use is this amazing instructions here on Drupal.org. I will leave the link in the description. So we want to create a Drupal database. So we go to the, the map start page and just follow along on this. I will just try to run through it quickly and hopefully seamlessly. So we go to tools. This is a page that map opens when you start the server. PHP my admin and then you're going to go to the databases tab. You're going to go create database and you're going to enter a name. <clears throat> so we're just going to go Drupal 8 and make sure that it is a UTF-8 and in this case it's the general CI um, you can look at the rest but use the general CI okay then we go create now we look at the left hand column to the PHP my admin logo make sure our current database is selected <clears throat> then we need to go to privileges we need to update the privileges under the new section click on add user account down here and fill out the login information okay we're gonna username again we're just gonna use the Drupal 8 and any host we have to change that to local to local or it will not work okay so now we'll just go and enter a password it doesn't have to be anything secure in my case but please make it something secure something you can remember and don't mistype it like I was. And now we are going to go go. Okay, so now we need to work on the privileges. So database specific privileges. So right here, we're going to make sure that these boxes are checked. We need select, we need insert, we need update, we need delete, we need create, we need drop and I believe it's index yes index okay now we just go again <clears throat> and now we go home okay we need to go to user accounts okay so my username is this one up here at the top of the user of the Drupal 8 and now we need to go edit privileges and this will take you to the global settings for that particular user under the data section 
we need to select select insert update and delete under structure we need to do create index and drop those are the three in there and now we go okay so here's our database is complete now we're going back and we'll go back to our local host just go back to the local host 8888 that's going to run us to the install so now we'll go English save and continue we want to choose profile and we're just going to do a standard installation view requirements okay so now here we're just going to continue anyway let this be okay so now here we go Drupal 8 and that's not the way you write that so Drupal 8 and then we will put in our password and we will do save and continue All right, so now that we have the Drupal installed, we can go ahead and set up our site. So I'm going to go ahead and just make this what we've been calling it. We're going to call it Drupal 8. And don't hold down shift for that. And site email address. Um, okay, so now we need to add an email address. The maintenance account. So now we're going to need a username. I'm going to put my name in and password. Just doesn't have to be a secure password again because it's a test site that's going to get deleted. Okay, so the default country in my case, I'm going to go ahead and set it to where I am, which is the beautiful Costa Rica, and the time zone. See if we can find something that'll be about right for us. Costa Rica. Okay, we want it to check for updates and we want to receive the email notifications. So save and continue. All right, here is our Drupal site. And now have fun, lay it out the way you want. Make it just a fantastic website. And this is, as you can see, it's still locally hosted. I can do everything on here without an internet connection. Um, I can, well, if I've got all my Drupal stuff downloaded as far as modules and stuff, but I'm not going to go into any of the, the actual Drupal stuff.